Welcome back to Character Select. Dave Kanath is heading back to the Megacorp games to... Because we're we poor. We need money. <laughs> we money. only have 37,000 bolts. We need more. God, 37,000 bolts was a fifth of what we needed for the fucking Rhino one. Yeah. We need... Three, we had 3,000 bolts so we can spe pay a homeless... Very... Crab. Wait. Homeless a homeless crab, crab monster... Yeah. Uh, money for food? I guess. I guess. Grubdosh, yeah. <laughs> um, so just to go back to the topic that we had last time with violence and kids and video games and stuff like that. Um, sure. I remember hearing a story on, I'm pretty sure it was, uh, I want to say it was This American Life, but it might have been Radiolab. I honestly don't remember. Um, but it was a story about a guy who watched a show with his uh, his girlfriend about um, uh, it was about like the it was about drug wars, you know. Um, that yeah. It was just like a it was a documentary slash show or something like that, whatever. And there was a particularly gruesome death scene in it. And she was okay. like, "Wow, I really don't like that." And he said, "Yeah, I really didn't like that either." Um. However, he could not stop thinking about it. Like, for days yeah. after, or for days, weeks, months afterwards, his mind kept flashing back to that scene, but the girl that was dying was his girlfriend, and he was the one killing her, and he couldn't figure Ooh. out... Of he could not ah. figure out what the deal was. He... Um, he get him? No, he couldn't. Because he, he, he had no desire to do it. He, right, it was right. just he couldn't get the thought out of his head. And uh, it turns out that there is... There is a... Uh, a condition that... A condition that you can have. It's not really a condition. It's just like a temporary thing. Um, where your brain can get caught up on a thought that you find repugnant. Something that you would never, ever, ever want to do. Never consider doing. Um, but, uh, most people, when they have those thoughts, they just kind of, they, they float away, you know? Like, you think about it, you're like, yeah. oh, yeah, I, I, for some reason, put myself in the killer's shoes, and she was the person being killed, and that's weird. Whatever. And then they just let it go. But, uh, especially yeah. people on the spectrum will not be able to let it go. Yeah, uh, it's it's understandable because obsessing over something is how our brains function. Yeah, <laughs> like if if you are struggling to reach understanding or put this information together, the reason that occurs is because can, sometimes we struggle. Sometimes we can't understand something, and a brain will need to keep on revisiting a fact, and it can't give itself all the answers suddenly. So it'll put that on a shelf, and then you'll come back to it later. And it could be that you'll keep on failing. There you go, forty thousand. Yep. Yay! And it's it's ju it was just a very interesting show about, or a very interesting discussion about um, obsessive thoughts and inability to get rid of them, and what they mean. And he he went to a therapist ultimately because he was so concerned about you know the thought that he possibly wanted to kill her that he was afraid that he was going to hurt her. Um, yeah. right. And the therapist was like, let's do a technique and taught him how to do meditation. You know, let thoughts right. enter your mind and then let them go. Taught him how to do that. Perfectly fine. Never had a problem again. Excellent. Well, that's good. Yeah, and it's just yeah. like... Very good. It's just like, oh man, I, I frequently have that problem. <laughs> and I don't, I don't meditate. I find uh, other ways to do it. But, I mean, it's just like, it's good to know that you're not crazy, you know? Yeah. It's very helpful to know that you're not crazy. <laughs> oh. Indeed. Yeah. Being crazy is bad. No. It's, it's real bad. Let's be honest. Being crazy works for some people. Ugh. Oh, I'm crazy. Crazy, crazy for in love. I'm crazy for feeling like I do. What's that from? I don't know, actually. Hmm. 
fair enough. <laughs> I think I heard it in a movie once. To the oil barrel. Hey, I got your fucking money. Lovely long time since I've eaten. Surprisingly low price tag and its lightning fast breeding cycle, there may soon be more than enough proto pets for everyone. Darla Gratch, Channel 64 News. <laughs> Fucking all gone well, city. Jesus Christ. Well, the entire well. population of that planet will be devoured unless we get there in time. Alright, so now we've got to decide the uh, planet Damazel or planet. I think it's Damazel that we need to go to next, technically. You have to Planet you... Smogelon. Nope. You have to go, totally you have to go save the damsel in distress, Dave. Uh, so okay, we'll go Or to go time. over there, or go to Ice Planet. Ice right Planet Angela. is where we save the damsel in distress. I mean, I was making a joke, but no, okay. No, you were making a terrible Damosel joke. Yeah. Kudos, I liked it. <laughs> We Planet Grelbin. This is her home planet. It's where she lives. I guess. Yeah, I mean, she was a biological researcher. I, mean, I, I, I kind of dig the Arctic, um, uh, the thing. You don't want to do bio research on, on a populated planet. You want to do it on a shithole planet. I mean, that's just good thinking, really. What the fuck? So there's no skill points on this level scale? Oh no, uh, which one are you on now? There's a skill Grelbin. point. Grelbin. Grelbin. Uh, Grelbin is collect all of the 101 moonstones on this planet. Mother fucking Yeti <laughs> it's a good bitch. Thing. Yeah, it's a good thing we're poor. Oh. oh yeah, this place is just covered in Yetis. Time for violence, and I suppose your shield. Your shield is actually doing a pretty good job at absorbing EXP. Oh, you missed a plasma coil. God, it's so nice. Exactly. Fortunately, plasma coil is super cheap to get uh, ammo for. Yep, and it levels up real quick. Oh, Moon God. Why, we couldn't have just the one level with this shit? No. No, of course not. Hey, look, there's a guy standing over there by that rock. He wants moon crystals, I know. I know. Do you he does. just keep coming the fuck back? They do! You just want, you're just gonna wanna keep going. Somebody over here. And don't, don't step in the water, by the way. And now I'm gonna step in the water. What a bad! Don't do it. Oh, that one's fine, I guess. Weird. Hmm. Oh, Stern Lord. Oh, man. It won't budge. Violence is not the answer. <laughs> I have a lot of weapons that say otherwise. <laughs> I am able. And patience, young one. For the rock to move, the forces of the universe must align. So, can we make these forces align a little faster? Ah, yeah. The holistic resonance of moonstones may yet guide these wayward forces. And how many do you need? Ten. Cool. Oh, oh god damn it. Why do they have me going Yay! across huge areas? We're gonna have to come up with a conversation topic. Start thinking about it. <sighs> oh boy. I mean, we've already used, like, violence in video games. That's, like, the easy win. <laughs> you need the hypnomatic here. Once you've found all of its parts, Oh, you have to go to this is the... It's not... It a, okay. Well, alright. Huh. Hope you thought about it, because, uh... We're going crystal hunting. The hypnomatic. Okay, well, alright. So, the... 
the strawberry lemonade I made uh, the other day was is really good. Oh yeah. Oh, I won. I'm a won. Oh right, the Leviathans. Oh cool. That's that's fun. I forgot about those guys. I was wondering, what's the giant creature that comes out of the that also <laughs> have the crystals in them? It's the those things. Oh my god! He cast hyper beam. He do. He do cast a whole hyper beam. Oh dear. Crazy. I think you're gonna have to be a bit more efficient with this one, with this for Planet Dave. I probably. Strawberry lemonade, huh? Was it iced? Yeah. Ice? Did you have ice in it? I mean, do you... Yeah? Alright, do you want to talk about fucking... Don't, what is oh, happening? Oh, shit! Ah. Oh, God! I don't know what's happening here. Ah, you're being surrounded by yetis. That's what's going on. Oh, what my God. What is the camera done? I don't... What is going with the camera? I don't know. This is, you okay. are in a, he a fresh hell dimension back over there. Oh my god, there's so <laughs> many of them. So, let's talk domesticity for a bit. We, uh, my wife and I, bought an ice yeah. maker. Which nice. is just a, it's like a... Cool. A freezer? <laughs> well, no. Uh, it does freeze things, but no, it's, it's literally a thing that you put on your countertop. You pour water in it when you want ice. You say, make ice, and like... Ten minutes later, you've got, you know, a cup ice. of ice cubes. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I was going to be real surprised if we were like, actually, not ice. <laughs> weird. <laughs> that would be really weird. Surprising outcome, I know, but... Uh... You guys are really starting to piss me off. Yetis are annoying. Wow, you've only gotten five so far. This is a long... It's going to be a long end. Oh, God, we're going to have to split this into multiple I episodes. would suggest you ignore the yetis and just break the crystals. Can, yeah, you got a shield. Kanathis, how am I supposed to what? ignore weapon XP? By ignoring the weapon XP, Dave, for like ten minutes. I suppose, yeah, you can <sighs> just, just just do some, some shot tapping instead. But yeah, we bought an ice maker. Um, it turns out it makes ice real good. Surprising nobody. Well, yeah. Surprising nobody. Um, I'm so stuck. <laughs> no, I mean, like, okay, so... I don't know how it is for other people, but for us, our freezer is full all the time. Because we've got, like, leftovers that we freeze and, and a whole bunch of other stuff. And... You know, it's just, there's no room in the freezer for fucking ice trays. So, we got an ice maker because it just made more sense. Mm, sure. I mean, I get it. <laughs> I feel like you're you're doing that meatwad thing where it's like, I, I get it. It's not funny, but I get it. <laughs> Uh, that show was not very funny. I didn't really. Aqua Teen Hunger like Force is absolutely not funny. No, it's really it is not. Super cringe comedy. I, yeah, I don't. Not... I don't. I don't like situations that are meant to be funny just because everyone's in an uncomfortable position. Yeah, That's... I don't like cringe. I don't. Uh, like hundred percent cringe comedy right there. I hate yeah. it. Like um, you know, it's fucking like meet the fuckers and all those ones. Yep. Like like oh, the in laws are coming and what zany things gonna happen? I'm oh, like oh no, boy. someone dropped toast in the toilet and they like like it's that whole this is a, a supposedly funny because it's a shitty situation. You're gonna die. You should run. Ironically, an upgraded plasma coil would actually be a really good you know, on this planet. I'm sure it would be. Hence why you I'm working on it. Act, yeah, you should probably go back and buy some ammo. Um, but yeah, cringe comedy makes me 
actually cringe and not laugh. Not, not, not ironic. Yeah, yeah, it's just it's you one... either you're either the kind of person that really really likes cringe comedy and actually finds it funny, and, or you're the person who just thinks it's cringy and just can't bear yourself to watch it. Yeah, it's just agony. Just super super uncomfortable. Yes, that's 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 the the, the, the realm there's, I exist there's in. There's no. Uh, there's no scale, it's just one or the other. Yeah. It's it's the reason why everybody's like, oh my god, you have to watch The Office or or Shit's Creek and stuff like that, and I'm like, Shit. I tried. Do I, though? I tried, I really did. And it's just incredibly unpleasant for me. Oh, oh I died. Who cares? Meh. Hey, hey I got you, a got crystal. The, you got that crystal, though. You just, have, you just have to kill those, those um, two giants. Um, but yeah, I, I have no problem with people that do like cringe comedy. I just, I can't do it myself. Nope. It's super bad. You haven't been using your turrets at all. You, you bring up a valid point. Oh, there's two of them. Great. Yeah, yeah it died. So what is your favorite comedy movie? My favorite comedy movie? Ooh. Kenethis, do you have one? I actually don't find comedy movies particularly funny. I mean, I could go... I, they're not even one, though, that, that entertains you? Um... In my past, when I was a kid, I did like um, Anchorman. Okay. And, yeah. But after a t after a period of time, I just started finding Will Ferrell to be kind of insufferable. The best Will Ferrell movie is the movie where he's not Will Ferrell. Fight me. Yeah. <laughs> that I can see mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Uh, Stranger Than Fiction is the best Will Ferrell movie, and it's because he is not playing Will Ferrell. Fair. Um, I think my favorite of the Will Ferrells would be um, uh, Blades of Glory. Even though it's mostly of... because he wasn't the only. You have to. You have to, you have to, you have to, you have to oh, return gotcha. the crystals to the guy. Yeah, I know. Yeah, refresh him. No, I mean you return the crystals and he opens up that door and then you go in and it unlocks uh, your progression. Yeah. Right, right. So you can get more crystals. And then you can get more crystals. On the plus side, I think I'm pretty crystals. sure the crystals are worth ten thousand apiece. Oh, that'd be so weird. Or was it five thousand? That would be less sweet. Really, guys? Really? Yes. Plasma point. Bitches. Bish, 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 bish. Hey, got your stupid moonstones. Oh. Yeah. oh. Moonstones is most fortuitous, for it is in this very moment that I am able to move the rock. Conveniently. <laughs> hey, what a coincidence. Thank you, sir. That was most helpful. Your gratitude is comforting, child. Mm -hmm. I have also found a piece of something oh, that is so nomadic. Him. You may have it in exchange for more moonstones. Wait, I thought you had no need for material possessions. Please, do not lay your burdens <laughs> upon me now. I am weary from lifting the rock, and I must pray. 16, 16 more moonstones. God damn it. So, you can't actually get any more moonstones until you go through that door. Alright. Well, let's go through the door then. So you're gonna have to go through there. Uh, I think if I had to say, or if I had to name a favorite comedy movie, I would go with the really easy out and just say um, Ghostbusters. Because Ghostbusters. That sound is something. That sound is something directly under you. You're gonna have to do the thing like last time and go all the way to the end and then back all the way up. Way. Oh, wow. <laughs> Uh, but Ghostbusters is an absolutely solid movie. I also really like Ghostbusters 2. I never really found Ghostbusters to be a f comedy. Really? That's kind of the whole really. point. I would say it's a comedy, yeah, exactly. Is it? 
Egon, yeah. uh, uh. Egon, I need you to, to chill out, otherwise you're gonna start drilling and drilling into your head again. And that would have worked if you had let me try it. <laughs> hmm. I mean, it's I definitely just, a comedy I movie. I, I never found it to be a comedy. I enjoyed it. I I, I like that movie, but I don't find it funny. Okay. I don't like it because I find it uh. funny. Fair. Hmm. Um, trying to think of other movies that are comedy movies that are not quite as easy shots as Ghostbusters. Um, uh, the Spaceballs. I, that's a, that's <laughs> in the realm of uh, entertainment. Is uh, I have a bit. I do have a bit. I don't know. I like that. If he's that movie, I do find funny. I, I'm honestly yeah. not a big fan of Mel Brooks stuff. Huh. Um, even. Like, the, the only Mel Brooks movie that I actually kind of like is Dracula Dead and Loving It. And even that's still not great, <laughs> personally, but... I, I think Dracula Dead and Loving It is great because of Leslie Nielsen, not because of Mel Brooks. Leslie Nielsen is... Oh, for fuck's sake. You're, it's absolutely you're, hilarious. You're, you're, being, you're, too low to, you're too low. You have to be a little bit higher up. I don't know if you've noticed, Kanathis, this is not an exact science. <laughs> I don't know. It sure seems like it's an exact science. You might just be Dave in it. It's entirely it's possible. True. Yeah. I think I have to go down into that cave? Yes, you do. Uh, oh, oh, never mind. You can't actually go. Yeah, there's go no fucking way to turn around here. <laughs> uh, what is that noise again? I know there's something in that room because there's that fucking whiny ass noise. There is something there. Oh well. All right, time oh, wow. to play ball game. <laughs> This is everyone's favorite the game. Ball game. All right. Speaking more about movies. Damn it. What is your favorite historical movie? <laughs> not necessarily uh, not necessarily does a National Treasure count? Yes. <laughs> I love that movie so much. <laughs> national Treasure is actually a national treasure. <laughs> it is a great Ooh. movie. Historical Maybe not the movies. second one. I didn't. I've never seen the second one, so I can't. I wouldn't be able to say, but it's okay. I mean, National Treasure one, except for a couple of really weird moments of incorrect history, which are very few and far between is just an absolutely fabulous movie. Yeah. I have never seen National Treasure. Oh really? my god. Alright. You've never seen it's... the greatest national or the greatest Nicolas Cage movie of all time? It's Wicker probably Man? His best I mean movie. National <laughs> Treasure? <laughs> <laughs> it was still wild in film school watching the original Wicker Man and then seeing that one. It was like that's so fucked. <laughs> I've never seen either of them, so, you know. I've only seen the gif. Bees, not the bees! They're in my eyes! My eyes! Uh, and also you're wrong, the, the, the latest Nicolas Cage film is the best Nicolas Cage film. You can't do anything with him right now. I can't go anywhere right now. Yeah, you have to hit that button. Oh. Thought I did. No. Clearly not. Yes, I recognize um, that they keep coming back. Well, I mean, that's the point. That they're, they're, yeah, they're supposed to come back. If you guys haven't seen it, Willy's Wonderland is a fucking incredible film, and it is one of Nicholas Cage's Willy's most Wonderland. powerful star. Oh, I have not. Ever. I haven't oh, actually the, watched his more recent. Things. That's the quote-unquote Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Um, yeah, I mean, calling it that obviously is unfair. It's much more, um... Better? <laughs> yes, obviously. Um, um, there's the final it's... armor. It's, uh, it's more like, uh, if Ash vs. the Evil Dead were set in, um... 
uh, the setting of Five Nights at Freddy's, uh, but also Nicolas Cage doesn't have a single speaking part. <laughs> he doesn't say, he doesn't have a spoken part. He doesn't say a single word for the entire movie. He sells the entire performance just on action and facial expressions, and he crushes it. It is 100% the best role he's ever had and done. I mean, people give Nicolas him, Cage him a lot. Never to- Go ahead. He, yeah, him never talking and, like, mad-dogging the shit out of people is incredible. It's it's almost like, um... I think... I, I feel like he just gets bad, bad roles. Okay. Just well, yeah, because he gets parts. horribly in debt and then has no choice but to take really bad roles. I mean... Nicholas Cage, I feel like, is kind of like Vin Diesel, in that if Vin God. Diesel doesn't speak, you've got gold. And then as soon as I don't as think you've ever got gold. I think Vin Diesel is fucking garbage, unapologetically garbage in all acting roles. All right, fair. I've, I've never seen I've never seen him give a good performance. I wouldn't know if he'd done a silent performance either, because he fucking insists on having speaking lines. It's the whole reason that whole family speech is in. Is because he wouldn't be in the next movie if they didn't give him more lines of dialogue than some other fucking actor. Uh, counterpoint, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, he's Groot, right? Yeah. I forgot about that. I think anyone could have been Groot. It's true, but they I mean they did mocap him for it. Uh huh. So. Again, anyone look, like I don't know. I, 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 the re obviously the re his reason for doing it is cool and sweet. It's because a kid wanted to see him be great. Right. It doesn't change the fact that literally anyone could have done that role. Anyone at all, like an intern, could have done that role. Although I will argue that um, Rocket Raccoon Bradley Cooper fucking nailed it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, Cooper's that one. Great. That one's a that one's a fucking acting. <laughs> Uh, not, not quite enough. Excuse me a moment here, folks. I just need to explode. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. Good shot, Dave. Thank you. It was an, an attempt was made. <laughs> I don't think you even tried. Would you fucking die? Thank you. Jesus. Alright. Next time on Character Select. Uh. Oops. Oops. Come on. Thank you. Uh, now that we've got the way to get the 100 crystals, we'll do the 100 crystal grind. That'll be the end of the recording session. And then I can grind out the money that we need for the rhino. Oh boy. And then the rest of the game will be easy. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below if you liked it. And, Kanathis. Yeah, hey. Oh, uh, Yetis are the worst. They're not great. I like the liz I like the the the, la the laser lizards, but I don't like the Yetis. I prefer laser the I prefer lizards. I prefer like uh, the laser spitting uh, Leviathans to the um, I beam floaty boys from the first uh, from the other planet. Right. But I don't like the Yetis. They're really annoying. They're obnoxiously how... difficult to kill. Look at this. Yeah, they have a lot of health, and there's a lot of them, and... Helps if I hit them. They're very aggressive. 